So last year I wrote a piece of music and I harmonized it using an algorithm that I wrote for a Raspberry Pi computer. So a Raspberry Pi is, is one of the simplest computers in the world, very, very simple. And I basically told it the rules of harmonization uh, and whatever the results were going to be is what I got the band to play. Um, and thankfully it kind of worked. <laughs> So I thought it would be quite interesting to, instead of using a simple computer, see if I can generate a piece of music with the most complex computer in the world, which is a quantum computer. Now obviously these are not commercially available and they are phenomenally expensive, but IBM actually have one that you can access via the internet and control it, which is amazing. Um, so I've been playing around with that all morning and I've learned a whole lot about quantum computing uh, although I am a long way from understanding it to any kind of usable uh, degree. But anyway, so the difference between classical computers and quantum computers is classical computers effectively have lots and lots of switches inside, which can either be set to a zero or a one. And through clever com uh, programming, they make it look like they're doing incredible things, but effectively they're just adding numbers together pretty much. Quantum computing uses, um, instead of the regular uh, bits that you probably know about in computers and everything, they use qubits. Uh, the difference being is that a qubit can not only be a zero and a one, it can be both of those states at the same time. So effectively what you can do with these qubits is create what we call a superposition and then it only comes to a, being a zero or a one when you measure it. I've created a few scores here. Um, they call them scores because they run, they look a little bit like musical scores. I've deliberately actually um, done five qubits, zero through to four, to make it look a little bit more like a musical score just, just for my brain. But you can create all these things. So this H uh, here actually creates uh, this superposition. So the, the qubit is in the state of zero and one at the same time. And then you can send it through a whole bunch of other gates and everything and get it to do stuff and manipulate stuff, effectively do <coughs> programming and then measure the outcome at the end of it, which is a pink one, which there is, the pink one's here, which gives you the measurement of uh, the particular cube you know, after you put it through all the different gates. Anyway, the idea is, is to transpose the output from this into MIDI notes to create some sort of tune, whatever the thing comes out with. I don't know if it'll be a tune, whatever. And I'm going to stick it into this, which is um, uh, a tenorium, tenorium white, uh, simply because it's not a phenomenally wonderful instrument to listen to. It's just very visual as well. So all these dots should light up uh, regarding as the output of this. So this is going to output a bunch of numbers, which is going to go into this somehow and create a tune. So I've done a bunch of experiments this morning and I've simulated them because uh, you can actually simulate them as if it were running on a quantum computer, on a regular computer. These are relatively simple things um, at the moment anyway. Um, but I will actually do this through the quantum computer. So here's, here's my first one that I did, which is a really, really simple thing, just creating five quantum states and then measuring them to see where they come in at. And uh, then I, I did a gate called a CNOT gate, which is... Um, uh, that one should have come out, I don't, oh, that hasn't been executed, I haven't done that one yet. I think that should have come out 85%, whatever. Um, okay, so what we've done now is created the 1201 alarm uh, algorithm, I guess you would call it, program. Uh, and I've simulated it a few times, and now I'm ready to run it on the actual quantum computer. So I'm about to do that now. Okay, so my job has been submitted and it's next in the queue and uh, it should take less than a second to run. So whenever it's ready to do that, it's going to be running on a quantum computer in California somewhere. Actually, I've just found out they're in New York. Okay, so my job was a unique job. It hasn't been run before. Sometimes experiments, if they're run before, you can actually see the experiments that were got last time or you can run it again, obviously. This is, I imagine it's quite expensive to run um, these things. So we're just going to go through to the results now. Yeah, okay. All right, good. We've got some good numbers there. Uh, 
Now, this is going to take me quite a while to process. Okay, so I've converted the data uh, from the experiment into MIDI and I'm about to upload it into the Tenorion. Okay, so make sure you get your MIDI in and MIDI out the right way around. Okay, second go. Uh, okay, second go, hold on. Okay, there you go. That is a tune composed by a quantum computer. I like it. Needs a bit of work. Bravo one. Bravo one. Roger. Twelve oh one alarm.